People, I tell you now, rice coming on nicely. Yeah, man, so we just uh, dig him up again. You want food, mommy? I want food. Daddy, you want food? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Alright, that is it. So, I have some water here. Alright, so I pressure the peas from home. As you can see. So, I pressure the cooker. Here, yeah, people, check in. Alright, so today, um, we are cook some food. We are head downtown and feed the homeless. All right, we just do the base work right here, so in house. But then when you actually I go put on the pot and thing, we are go to location. I have my peas right here, so go on pressure. So that's why I just cut them up that way. And I go curry them. Last time we did some brown stew for them to the mellow curry these finish cut we'll wash off with some vinegar Peace, still a pressure, you know. I'm going to get out the skin, I'm not really use it. the skin, them. and most of the fat part, I'm going to strip them off. So now I'm just going to separate them, as you can see. Say meat well clean. Meat well clean. Eh? After we done this, we'll go, go ahead and check the pressure cooker. So now I get on some powdered season. You know this, we have some jerk season, some maggi, all purpose, and some season to the bone. Everything mixed up in a one. So I just get on some pan meat. Yeah. And then we have some curry in this in this container. And this is better pack curry. The best curry, you know? I'll get on some as well. And then we will just mix them in and combine them together. Go and soak in the meantime, the peas are get cooked, you know. Come on, see. And add a little more curry. Mm. 
mixed with the As for salt, I don't really put salt in a pot like this when I cook meat. If I need to add salt, I add it in the gravy when the meat is boiled down. Yeah. Why? Because these seasonings contain salt. And you know, salt the food, you know? Sometimes the, the salt in the seasoning is enough to give the food the right balance. But in some one half cases, you may find that you have to add a little salt. So, I have the salt just in case we need that. Yeah? Alright. So, this is what it looks like now. So, I'm going to just leave this. I'm making go on soaking. I'm going to work with my natural seasoning them and everything we need to cook for the next location. So stay tuned, we we'll just wait for the peas to finish cook and then we can move out. So we're outside. Check in my beautiful people. Welcome back to another adventure. Alright, today I'm rolling solo. Alright, so I got climb behind the camera and um, we are here on this beautiful seaside. Now, it's no beach, but you know, it's natural, it's nature. All right, today what we're about to do is we're going to be cooking some food for the homeless, for the less fortunate. Um, so the other day I went downtown and you know, we give out some food and there was, you know, a whole lot of persons there, you know. Some, some get, some didn't get. But what I noticed um, is that you know, there are other people who feed them as well and we give God thanks for those people. So today, we are back again to cook some food for them. Yeah, so I'm here and I'm just going to get some fire stick. It's a very sunny day. As you can see, but then I'm going to pull over trying to hide the sun. And yes, <laughs> it's super hot, but I'd rather take the heat than, you know, yeah, so. I am just now heading into this area right here where I see a lot of dry sticks for my fireside. A whole lot of dry sticks for my fireside. So I'm getting them. And we're going closer down to the sea to put on the pot. Can't run out of stick. None at all over here. And that's what I love. I'm just trying to get enough. So, I'm gonna have to really come back. And even when I do have to come back, I just have to come pick up. All right. See a lone doctor bird a fly, so I try to look at me see a nest or something because I don't want to disturb him. Because I don't say why he's there out here so by himself. Yeah, he have a nest, you know. He have a nest, guys. So I have to be very careful. I'm going to leave here so because I just find a nest. So the moment I see him a fly come close to me, and I say, why, why, why a doctor bird there so a fly when there's no flowers or anything for him to um, pollinate or anything like that. And he just clicked to me and said, maybe there's a nest. And then just as I said that, I see him fly going in the nest. So I'm going to leave this area 
I don't want to disturb it no more because I don't want to um, shake it or anything and the eggs or anything to fall out, okay? So I'm going to move to a different spot to collect my fire stick. I leave this area because the doctor buried a nest right in that tree and that branch. And I don't want to disturb him at all. Okay. So let me see how best I can carry them stick here. Maybe I forgot to make two chips. Kind of pop them up so I can see if I can make one chip. If not, I just decide to say, I'll come back. Alright, I'll go with this for now. So we're heading back closer now, down to the sea. Alright, so now I got some stick. I definitely I will need some more. So the next thing for me now is to find a spot where I can put on the pot. All them stone here stay. I want to find a place where I can just put the, the pot without even have to worry about set up any more stones or anything like that. So I just walk to see where that perfect place will be all right so Still can't find a good, good place. I'm gonna put it on the pot yet. I think I'll put it on here, son. So I'll look, I'll look three stone and come back. So stay tuned. This is it. This is the spot where I decided to put on my pot. So as you can see, I just look two stones. Yeah, man, and I'm now going to get my fireside going. So, I got my stick there when I look. So, let me just sort out this real quick because I'm evening, evening time. Yeah, man, and as you can see, <laughs> if you know anything about Colas Me TV, you know, say, we are all for beauty and creativity, you know. and. So that's why I'm cooking so close to the water. Yeah, so you have that nice wave boxing up. Hopefully, I'm not they're too close where so I go box up on my fireside and out it. But that's what the beauty of my adventures are, you know? To give you guys some amazing view. Plus the thrill, you know? Of wondering what? I wonder if the water comes out out. Colors for you now. If such is the case, then we'll just relocate. But for now, this is exactly where we're putting on the pot, guys. So I'm just getting my fireside packed. We might have to get some, some bigger stones. But when we reach that bridge, we'll cross it.
So this is how I'm going to start my fire with guys I'm going to put in all at once Guys, this fire is going to be one hard fire for catch But we're going to use some oil and some paper towel to try and get the get it blazing so just put the oil on the paper towel like that you know completely soak it you know just soak a part of it and then you can light like me say the wind out here is no joke it's not a bit touch for that one here. but anyways we are going to make it work if you take away however long it's going to work we just need the slightest calm just need a little part for light Guys, if only we can get this little part for light, me alright, you know. Ah. <laughs> All right. Cool on the lighter a bit because you don't want to get too hot and then the top fly off and then we're in a bigger trouble we have to go try to get a next lighter out all the way out on the road. Alright. Now I attempt to turn up the lighter and now you do that you have to take off this, the shine part. people it's literally been about five minutes since me actually like this I uh, know we can't get it for light but guess what it's still not giving up still not giving up guys breeze is so strong Hardest thing ever. Don't out, don't out. There you go, guys. Mm. So, as long as that no out, guys, if you hold, you know, that'll take one next 10 minutes for light back. So, you know what? I'm going to give it some more paper towel with some more oil to keep it going. Make sure say, you know how so the, so the, the oil will act as a cursing. So once it catch, there's no turning back. Moral of the story, anything is possible once you... Wah! 
I try to move fast because I can't make this out back in the people. I have this out back might as well. I just call it a day. So you got to feed it the, 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 the smallest part of the stick. We call it the bram bram. Because those are the ones that will catch first before the bigger stick sketch. So you see it's blazing and the, and the, and the, the paper will burn away at once because the oil keep it. And I make sure so you know what but none at all. So by the time the paper towel burn out, those would have already been catch. So now we can start pack some bigger sticks on it. And we got fire! Alright, so I'm going to allow that to burn down a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to get myself prepared to put on my pot. And the first thing, first thing I put on is my chicken. Yeah. So I have my pot right here, so. But as I said, I just want that to kind of burn down a little first before I get on my pot. So in the meantime, I just get my hands there and wash and get my natural season them cut up so stay tuned and watch what I go on yeah man people so I kind of measure measure the pot with the stone them just to ensure so it's steady when it's ready alright that is it so I have some water here I am mad, you know, you see? Because <laughs> the breeze are blowing hard. Alright. I got my hile. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to burn the curry. So I'm get in. Get in some hile. But I want to straighten. about that supposed to good all right people so now I have my curry right there so this is my oil at yeah man the oil hot and ready so I go in with my curry now Just to let your curry burn for a while. Alright people, we are getting we are getting with curry now, with chicken that is. 
Yeah man, make them go and cook first. When we start cooking up, we get the natural season and cut up in it. So, we are lock it. I'm making go and sweat out. Now, you see, you see, through the, the breeze high, fire burn down quick. So, we have to constantly uh, shove up back. And I had new, new flames, new, new stick to the fire. Man, so it's coming on nicely as I say this is where we are yeah man right at the seaside we we'll packed it today yeah beautiful ain't it So we have a lucky pattern now. That is it. I'm making go and sweat and create its own water, you know. At this point, I am just here sitting. Trust me, the sun, the sun, the sun is hot, but nonetheless, it's a super beautiful day as you can see. And I'm right out by the seaside cooking. And if you take a look around, you can see where my pot is right there. Yeah, man. And trust me, it's, it's going on beautifully. So, now I'll take a look in my pot right now. As you can see, it's coming on nicely now of course because of the high wind it's going to be it's going to take a little bit more time to cook because trust me no matter how you see the fire a blaze so you know it really i get less steam because of the wind but nonetheless it's coming on I'm add some water to it and there you go you can see that is looking good one thing I'm kind of thinking about now is when I'm actually going to put on the rice pot I might have to remove the fire side from off this peak just for the rice to steam evenly 
get on the pad cover because if I don't do that then the breeze can cause a problem because the rice here cook but anyways guys look super amazing it's beautiful out here right by the water yeah so you can see just how close the path is to the water let me kind of give you a wider angle so you can see so if the sea decides say yo me have a rough up <laughs> then the path gone in high water but anyways we say we're out here without fear so we just stay tuned and watch how I go on so right now me have to go ahead and get in some more stick in the fire guys cause it has burned down fast 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 That burn down fast, so let's get let's get the fire side show up back. One thing though, literally zero smoke, cause the breeze keep the fire always blazing. This is my last piece of stick. So as soon as this burn down, I have to think about it. So I have to look some more. Keep the fire active! Alright, so that is that for now. And as you can see, there it is. Soon time for getting natural seasoning. Let's take a look. Beautiful. And it's smelling so good right now, trust me. So I'm gonna stay tuned and watch how I go on. Alright people, check in so right now I have my natural season them and I get them wash and get them cut up for go in my meat. Come yeah, on. So I go on. So I get my skelly and them stripped. So I'm gonna strip off the part them. But I don't want to eat I'll all leaf them Take them off So this is it. So now I get them cut up you now. I cut up everything and then I save some for going on my rice as well. 
I'm gonna rest out in peace. And you want to make sure your pot packed with flavor, you know, so all of your natural seasoning them we are going to use except tomato all because we are cooking curry Got the scotch bonnet on our people. And I'll get it cut up. But now try to make it too spicy still in us. But now I really put in the seed part tonight. Yeah, our time already. Wash. You know we don't really we don't cut time. You just wash it and you can take off the, the big stick. Alright, and we got garlic as well. Now with the garlic. Only thing you need to do is just crush it or the easier way that if you strip your garlic when you, when you crush it like that easy 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 just come out of the skin like that yeah so add some garlic like I said the more it crush or the easier it is see just come out by itself like that Alright, so save your time on stripping garlics. So, I'm going to save the remainder of the garlic some for the, the rice. So, we are going straight into the, into the pot now. And as you can see, the sun is setting soon. Shortly the sun is going to set. So, you realize it's eh, a late evening now. So, we go going look what going on inside our pot here. Yeah? Pan with chicken. Alright, see it there? Coming on nice. Yeah man, beautiful, yeah? Yeah man, and gravy coming on rich. So at this point, I'll go ahead there now and add in some of my natural season. And I'll save some for going on my rice pot. So time and then everything else. Alright, so the remainder now have to go in our rice pot. So, we just get a turn around. I don't know, say, how soon time we come off. Looking so good. But smell nice. Oh gosh, man. Alright, and it's time we can just taste. Make sure it's a salt level good. Wow. Perfect. So, you don't need no salt. All I need now is just to make him go and cook down a little more. Actually, you can taste the chicken. The chicken cook already still, but you know what? We want natural season for you. Cook more nights so we will taste the chicken. and. Mmm. Beautiful. Oh, the lacking back now. I love him to go and cook. And oh my god. This right now, this beauty, has something to talk about. 
Amazing. Yeah, so I'm just uh, push up back the fire. I'm making go and cook, you know, finish. And then a time for put on the rice after this. Like I'm telling you, my peas already boil and cook. And today we are going to use some coconut powder. And when we now use natural coconut, we use Maggi coconut powder. That's my choice. See? So, meanwhile, this I cook, I go ahead and go back in the bush to see if I get some more, some more fire stick. I'm going to put my mash it. I see if I get some more fire stick. I now walk the side with the bird nest there. Doctor bird nest there. Right now, I see me in the nest from far. Oh, that side here. Yeah. I stick them bun out fast. Yeah, so. I try to find some more stick here. Yeah. So, people, we have, we have here. I try to make my way to get that tree here. Yeah. Avoiding that side because that side of the doctor bird nest there. <sighs> 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 So far you're gone, brother. <laughs> I be a maca in a guy, so I can't too go too much night. This suppose you can cook my rice. I you know, and the sun gone down, guys. The sun gone. So you know, say when you see the sun gone, about after five, or I go to five. Right now, I may try to finish to reach downtown by at least six o'clock. But the hardest part of it, like I said, already done. Yep, that is it. You know what? Wish the day was like this. <laughs> the sun is not hot. Right now it's just perfect. Check, check in back on the pot again. Alright, this look like look like I eat probably I'll give it to next two minutes and then we get him off because I know I'm a gravy bun out. Yeah. Gravy nice and rich. Whoa! Look at this guys, it's amazing. I'm getting some Nice breeze right now, and I'm out here without fear. It's beautiful, yeah, man. So, you know, this is what we love nature at its best. Like, 
there's no compete competing with nature guys yeah man everything about this atmosphere right now is good yeah so stay tuned when we forward back i get me i get half a pot put on my rice pot quick and fast and steam my rice and then start head downtown you know feed the less fortunate all right people check in so right about now my pot is cooked so i go ahead and get off my curry chicken oh, wow i'm here put him right yeah so yeah and then we we'll go ahead and get on with rice pot like me say my peas already cook from yard me just rinse out rinse out back the pot yeah even though it's already washed and clean already I'll just give him a quick rinse out and set him on without delay now waste some time this is our fireside now with the rice we have to make sure some pot leveling because they want the rice to cook evenly and I like a meat pot where you can if it lean you might get away with it but once a rice you have to make sure see your pot level all right so when we get in some water we will find out exactly if we need to adjust it again all right i'm have my peas in my pressure cooker i'm gonna get in already cook I like me say, we are going to be using some coconut powder today. Specifically, Maggi. Alright, so I'm going to mix it in, a, in a the pressure cooker pot just to get out all that um, nice redness left from out of the pot because we don't want to waste nothing at all, you know, guys. So I have two coconut powder with me work with today. Okay, next one there. All right, here they are, two of them. So I'm gonna just mix them right in here. Let like me say, I got my maggi coconut powder and I'm gonna get them in we use we use it in a the pressure pot or we'll get a piece out of just because you know our waste that richness well we're, we're gonna give the rice the color you know I'm going to use two of them guys. Now, you want to add a little water, not so much, you know, because you want to mix it rich. And then you can go throw it in your pot. So, this is it. So, I mix it to get all of this. Well, let's work from the peas. a little bit more water just to make sure say get out everything all right and without wasting any more time we are come 
and get it inside our pot, guys. As you can see, pot boiling. You need to catch it properly because it's a wrap there. So we are going with the coconut milk. Make sure we get out everything. And then just stir it. We need to catch up at there. Alright, I'll get in some more water, just enough for me to can cook my rice and then allow it to boil up before I start putting my rice. So I think around that amount of water for now, if we need more water, we'll have more water. Alright, so we can go ahead now and get in our natural season now. We have one scotty. We are going to just put it in the pot without bossing it or cutting it. I mean, we have one we cut already. I we'll get it along with the remainder for natural season. So this is scallion and sweet pepper and piece of thyme. We have my garlic. We are going get in and piece more thyme. All right, so we are. I yeah, got get my garlic, you know. My garlic up in the left over here, so. We don't need no, we don't need no whole heap of garlic, you know. And piece of thyme, fresh thyme. We have those rings are back the thyme. Strip the garlic. and get it inside of the pot. Once we do this now, we have to lock it, give it some more flame by adding more wood, firewood, so it can blaze fast. So once, the, once it starts boil, we can come in, wash my rice and get it in. And then you know so when time that cook, I done, we done. We can just go. Jump in a vehicle, box up the food, then we now go box them out down here because it's really windy and they might get cold. So we leave them in a the pot until we reach a place where we can share. That's not so windy, so the food keeps the heat, you know? Yeah, man. So that is it, I'm going to just get in some more fire stick in a pot and the fire. So I got my fire stick there, I did look. A rice, you know, so we don't need much fire, you know, but for the first half of the cooking in the rice, you want, you want to have fire so your, your, your pot can at least start dry down. Once it starts dry down now, you just graduate the fire and leave it on the coal for making steam. That way there, you get perfect rice every time. Yeah. So I'm just add, add fire underneath it. As it start boil, I'm going to start washing my rice and get it in. Yeah, so that is it. You know, just stay tuned. When you check in back, the pot supposed to start boil, and we are washing rice to put in. Soon forward.
All right, people, check in. So, come take a look now. I'll go on and now. See it? Boiling. Lovely. Yeah, man. I'm going to tell you. I remember what kick out of the pot is normal. Yeah? So, you see, like how it's boiling now? Now, at the time, I'm going to go in and get him rice. But first, I'm going to wash the rice and get going. The uh, breeze, breeze are blowing hard, let me think them. Alright, so we have water. Curing salt. One of them basin again. But we are gonna actually wash the rice, you know. And we are cooked with eight pounds of rice. So stay tuned and watch our go. Alright people. That is it, you know, so we're cooking with some nice jasmine rice and we are using 8 pounds Yeah man, I pull one pack already put it in my pocket because you don't know where to carry the garbage with me So we are going to wash the rice put my next bag in my next pocket I'm going to have my water here, so Get rice and wash. May I do this fast before the wave get mad? <laughs> Woo! Well, I wash it two times. <laughs> that are the first wash. Woo! And then for the second wash, we have, we have color like it I get mad, so I move to higher ground. Don't dash the more water. I'm going to wash it out now. I move to a pattern now. Move to a pattern now. See me? Rice bag them, get them in my box. Because we have to walk with everything and carry them back. Half I see, see? Yeah. Smelling good. So we are going here now and getting the rice, guys. Just drain off the water and get in the remainder. So there you have it. Eight pounds of rice. Hopefully we can get a big box to work with. So may I just go in and on he my turn around. Make sure say, the peas evenly distributed in the rice. Alright, I'm adding a little bit of season, a little bit of salt. Alright, so I got me all purpose. Yes, yeah, so this is a maggi jerk season, a little bit of season to the bone. All three combined together. So, I could just go in with the clear that in my pot. Extra flavor, you know?
Now I put too much. Eat a turn around. Alright, and then now we're we'll gonna add in some salt. I have my salt in one of these boxes. So I have my salt. I don't know rice and peas. Rice and peas are something that takes salt, you know. So I go in with this amount and then I taste and see if it's good. So I make sure so you mix them around nice and good so it evenly distributed guys you know alright and then now give my taste and see what I go on time I go in okay right now about 5 30 but we know exactly where to find you know the homeless them downtown so even if night catch me still gonna make them get them dinner tonight yeah man balance balance omg tastes good i tell you yeah man so if you don't got natural coconut maggi me i recommend okay the maggi coconut powder yeah man them me i recommend not no beating natural one still in about maggi one give a nice flavor as well so I lock it back as you can see more and more fire yeah until it, the, the, the pot start dry down so let me just show up at this and make it start blaze again because more and the pot for bubble you know say if you have cooked rice and you have lazy fire in a starting your rice will get soggy and you don't want that you want the rice to cook and then the jar with the hard fire forget that nice balance rice not too tough not too soft so here I go I don't know I'm blaze up this thing I get some more stick from here so. Man, you see, start blaze up back and now, people. That's how we are look for. You know? You now, on a lazy fire, you know, start in our rice. Because we don't cook no soft rice, we don't cook no rice porridge. We want some shelly nice rice, you know? You know, start boil up yet. And we want it to boil. So, stay tuned and watch how I go on. Sun is going down at this point, you know. Yeah man, we have some fishermen on the seaside there trying to catch fish and rice still the pan fire go on the way to do. Yeah man, so we just go on wait. Yeah. Right now 5.45. <laughs> yeah man, so we just wait for the rice to cook. I take a look in it and see what I go on to. What am I doing? Me? Okay, there, so. Take a look and see what I go on. The man is dry down nice. So I kind of dig him up. Ooh. Why you do that, man? So at this point, you know, 
we can start take out some of my hard fire but it, that one here kind of look a bit tricky because you see through it up on the, the high and the breeze underneath it me not, that's why I'm not jaw the hard fire as yet I just make it go and stay a little more because it, it will get less heat than a regular pot where they put on so I don't really want to take out much of the hard fire as yet just I'll give it a little more time but it will come on nice still coming on nice people tell you now yeah, it's coming on nicely yeah man so we just dig him up again and leave him making go on steam out same way now add no more water to it you know. just want to go on steam Looking beautiful, guys. Beautiful. See it there? Yeah, so stay tuned. See the sunset there. Eh? Nice. Yeah, man, we'll soon check in back. Guys, look at that beautiful sunset going down. Amazing. If it wasn't because of the wind, it would have finished cook already and move out already. But you know, say because the breeze are blow, the the the, the pot get less heat underneath it, so it takes us a little bit more time. But nonetheless, you know, if 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 we even reach downtown in the night, we still go give the homeless them food and you know make them enjoy them food this evening you know yeah man that is it so pot still left on fire as you can see i wash the the rice bag them and use it for steam the rice so we're just waiting for it now to finish steam before we can move out yeah man that is it and again guys this is where we are beautiful location yeah Amazing view. Yeah, yeah, yeah bless up, yeah, man. Yeah, people, so right you now, as you can see, sun already gone down. Place is kind of getting dark, but our pot is, I think, ready at this point. Yeah, man, me to leave it for steam for a while. So, right now, let's go in and give it a check. Go in and get a check. Oh, all right. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Ready, ready, and all people see it. Yeah, man. Nice and lovely. So we are gonna just get him off here now. I head to a place where we can start sharing. Because I can't share it here because it will get cold fast. 
Mm -hmm. Nice and lovely stuff. Stay tuned and tell you so we are plate them out and head downtown. That is it so. Okay. Quick and fast, but just show how it look. So now just stay tuned with the pan movements. So quick and fast, we are boxing them out. So. We don't have to see time we dip and we and then we reach downtown to get the homeless them the food. Check in. Yeah man people, check in. So they are on the way now. Um I head downtown. We have the box in the back. Yeah man, we'll strap it down cause see now it catch up on we right now. About uh, seven o'clock right now. So you know say. Um, we we'll probably gonna reach a town probably like about 7.15 or 7.20. Alright people so you see we're there, right now we're there on Marcus Garvey Drive um, heading into town so we're gonna reach into town probably about the next four to five minutes. Reach downtown um, so it's now just for get to where all of the homeless people them normally gathered but like I say hopefully they did them did it because we never like come this late before yeah right now it's supposed to about 723 yeah so we never come this late before but um I turn up on the street yeah but I know say chances are can I big part of all this? Them still about. I don't think they gonna sleep yet. So we're up on Duke Street. Sweet name, but I know say <laughs> I know exactly where to find them. Alright. I think the street where them depend on King Street. Where them normally. There. So, I'm normally the right on the side down here, so. Uh, look at me, see none of them. I want to see them, some of them, they're going to all asleep. I bet they're ready to go and sound something. Hold on a minute. I'm going put on, I'm going put this one on my back. Where for them? The night box? Where is that in there? Oh, they are come. Get up, you know what pull. Holy fuck. Yeah, 
ओ अरे सेवन लिव Wanting me love on it, me love on the journey line, you know? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Oh. Me love on the journey line. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. You can't get it. The water and the staff, you know. One year over there, so many more money. Yeah, one year and I'm on it. Call him, man. Call him, man. Call him. We are coming late, but there still. Alright, so them gonna call some more people. Daddy, you're good. Come for your food, huh? What do Ah, I bring you come here, I bring you come here. Turn this up, turn this up. See that? Yeah, I I, over there. I come already, I'm over there. Yeah, man. Watch your road now. See the water, please. See for a kid, well, um, yeah, I forget to make it some get the people in the water. I have enough today. Mm -hmm. You get ready, daddy. See there. Come, come for water, come for water. Come for water. For your water. And your fork. Uh, big up yourself, yeah? What do you say, man? One more. All right. First of them look like they're gone in already gone to sleep. And me have, me have, um, I have a couple more food left. So, we are wait, we are wait a little bit more. I think they, I think them gonna show the rest of them. As soon as they come in, the show now are gone. Mm -hmm. You want food, mommy? Yeah, I want water and food. Daddy, you want food? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah juice. Water and food. Water and food. That's how you. Even a lot. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah, man, one thing I love with them people at downtown, them, them orderly, you know? Them man, them giant line and thing. So. We're on, sir. Yeah. I'm far. Alright, may I say probably? Alright, may I have eight more food left, sir. So what are we going to do? 
I got jive grown water theater side and who me see around them, I just give them. Because I know if they come early, I would have seen everybody, but probably some of them gone to sleep already. Hey man, I then lucky now, I then go and walk. Right now it's 7.33. See, so stay tuned and watch what I go on. Juice water. Mm. You know what the water? See for okay. Here yeah, people you check in so right now me I'll go around the water theater side. We have like about seven more food left. Yeah, out of probably um probably about twenty odd. So we are going to see if we can find more people. So long when I come down to us and set up all the yeah, so. <laughs> so in the heart of downtown people see it. Over there you get your you bus them. You know? Police them they on some mission too. People them are wait for bus for garden yard. Remember this. The struggle. Yeah, man. Struggle to get bus all when I left work as I don't know, I'm usually working on so I get to know exactly where the homeless people stay. In. Yeah, man. Struggle. Police them out though, or transport that. I'm a police. A long walk in that still. Eh? General, I have food. Alright, I'm 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 kinda oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to stop here, so I'm gonna yellow line this. How are you fought them there? I'm left them run about. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna come out. Uh, I'm left the fork run about. Bless up. Yeah. Come on, we have like six more left to go.
Yeah. Uh, big up, yeah? Big up, big up. Yeah. I was coming to service this. Yeah, but mm. subscribe, yes, eh? That is it. Fight, I know. <laughs> yeah, man. But we see a good thing, man. That's why I want to come to go on church. Uh -huh. You see him somewhere like this. Yeah. In the church, man. You know, I'm not going to stay. You know, I'm going to church where we go. Do this thing. Oh, okay. All right. Bless up yourself, yeah? That is it. Yeah, yeah. All right, we think we have like probably about four more food left. Four more food left. So, I'm going to make one last spin if I don't see nobody. I guess I'll two for me and two for the camera, man. <laughs> uh. General, you want a food? Yeah. Very much. Alright. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I? Alright, man. I'm going to come out. Give me that one, man. If I them, I'm going to come out. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to come out. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. Yeah. Want the water? Rasta, you want the food? Alright. So I guess I. I check on the man. Yeah, man, I'm going to go on there. <laughs> you want the food, daddy? Ah, I'm going to stop. Hold on, I'm going to stop. Hold on, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I hear the light, this is still in the boat. Yeah, and I, but, I know all you've left, I know all you've left still in there. About three left, how much are you there? Three are you there? Alright. Alright, see you next time. See you next time. Yeah. Now I drink. Water, man. You want the water? Yeah. Yeah. Two more. I want, I want last food left. Yeah. yeah. Water leave, Water leave, back. Water necessary right now. Alright. Water can't Food finish, daddy. Sorry about that, yeah? Next time. Two left, two water left. Alright. Alright. Yeah, man. Next time, yeah? Yeah, man. You ready to get far? Alright. Alright, that is it. Yeah, man, people, so. That is it. Box empty. Yeah, man. So, as I say again, them thing here really and truly needed. You know, we need like more people to come on board and do these type of things. You see me? Like, more than love to see. You know, at least one person from every parish, because every parish you go, you really find less fortunate people. So, if you did this, so, you did this, so, you did this, so. 
you can do this five one time for a week or two times for a week. You see me? Because some of them people are really and truly, they don't know where the next meal will come from. You see me? I come here today. Hopefully, somebody come tomorrow because it's really rough for them. As you can see, most of them are on the street side of them sleep. You see me? So we even, we even, we even ask you know, the government to put them up. For real, put them up. Like, put them in our place. Put them in our place where if I even, if I even want, want find a building, make a place for them. Although, I don't know if that is already done, but... Anyways... Like, comment, share and subscribe. And, like I say, if you can do something like this in your community or your parish, deal with it. We're outside, out here without fear.